Hey friends, Gus here with your Space TV. Today we're here for the OneWeb launch. This launch will use a Falcon 9 vehicle and it will be landing back at the Cape at LZ-1. But it wasn't planned to be that way. OneWeb was supposed to use a Soyuz rocket from Russia, but with sanctions from countries around the world due to the horrific actions by Russia to Ukraine, Russia got pissed off. Mainly this guy, Dmitry Rogozin. He decided to take down the program and pretty much kick them out of the country and kept all the satellites as ransom. OneWeb was now invicted from Russia with whatever satellites they had in their bag. But the US and SpaceX has welcomed OneWeb with open arms. Take that, Dimitri, you punk. Get out of here. Get OneWeb is an innovative, low-Earth orbit, satellite, high-speed internet system constellation. Since the fleet will be an LEO at 30% closer to Earth, this gives OneWeb a real-time connection to avoid lags and connectivity issues. OneWeb goes further than anyone else to help businesses and communities access, manage, and scale better connectivity with a low latency network with high speed from space for everyone. Similar to Starlink, OneWeb is owned by a private Indian multinational company named Bahardi Global. Also, Utelstat, a France-based satellite service provider, and mainly the government of the United Kingdom were the largest shareholders, but Japan retained about 12% of equity as well. The 15th launch today of OneWeb here from the Cape in Florida will launch 40 satellites in a constellation that will consist of 648 satellites. Each satellite is powered by Russian ion engines. The satellites will be designed to comply with orbital debris mitigation guidelines for removing satellites, assuring that they will enter Earth's atmosphere within 25 years of retirement, or as long as the satellite stays alive. And that is awesome. Each and every satellite should have that from now on. To receive signal from OneWeb, you just need a customized terminal, and it's pretty much the size of a briefcase. OneWeb will launch south to a polar orbit, bringing Q-Band to South Australia, South America, South India, and many other southern countries in rural areas. Their main focus right now is in commercial services. This service is extremely important for shipping routes. OneWeb will also provide high-speed video calls with fiber optic speeds. This is also important to aircraft, private and commercial, that fly over the world where populations and communication satellites are rare, if any, are in that range. It could possibly even save lives. As you all may know, the World Wide Web has never really been worldwide. But OneWeb's new and truly global 5G network will fix that. With just a video call, it will send the signal one-tenth of a second in speed through the entire system so that you can enjoy it with colleagues or your family back home. So you don't need to worry about being out of signal or out of mind when living or working in the middle of nowhere. OneWeb will connect you from unconnectable locations and keep you productive and on the move. It will be a breakthrough year when OneWeb technology creates real human progress, connecting everyone everywhere. Our world is quite large, large enough that just one web constellation won't be enough. That will now change with this launch of OneWeb. How do you think it's gonna compare with Starlink? I would love to read your input on this. Let me know down in the comments below. So let's enjoy the launch of OneWeb L15.
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, lift off. Stage separation confirmed. I'm back in mission. Please back fired up. Stage one landing confirmed. 